can't help but think if there were Catholics in every city in this country, in all the churches who were gathering in prayer and then in procession to the abortion clinics, uh, abortion would end very quickly in our country. So it's, it's simply a matter of overcoming our apathy and our fear to do what the Lord is asking us to do. So my prayer for all of us is that we would respond to that grace to be true Catholics and to be truly the church militant uh, in our world today. That's what Force Theatre is, it's a focused, intense campaign, revitalise the pro-life movement. You keep going, you keep praying, and, and give everything we've got. And this is a message that brings hope, that brings life, that brings mission. Um, so I really challenge you here, you know, to get the vigil as long hours as you possibly can. Get up to 12 hours a day, that's, that's the, if we, if we do that, you know, if our actions correspond with our beliefs, then we have integrity. This issue is so important. If we're out there, we're giving it everything and we do everything that we possibly can to help end the violence and abortion, then, then that's when God can really use us for tremendous spiritual freedom. buildings here that are derelict but we're here at Nellie's grave and sadly um, some of the buildings have been vandalised where little Nellie um, used to live but there's this beautiful heritage and history of Ireland that's here so this is, this is an incredible beautiful place but it's also symbolic of the derelict nature of the church not only in Ireland of both the Catholic heritage being either desecrated or being in ruins uh, and the spiritual restoration that needs to happen uh, in this country, not only for the pro-life movement, but also for the church at large. We need to rebuild the church like St Francis, and we need to rebuild the pro-life movement and um, bring it to its bring it all the way back to its full glory, which is really possible. That starts one person at a time. It starts with prayer, it starts with 40 days of life, it starts with restoring and celebrating our Catholic heritage.